Hey guys! The English language has a lot of little words. Like get, set, take, make, do. And these little words often have many different meanings. Take run, for example. The Oxford English Dictionary calculates that the word run has 645 separate meanings. Yikes. This can get a bit confusing when listening to spoken English. Today I want to demystify a phrase with another one of our little words, like. This phrase is to be like. Native speakers often use this phrase in conversation to indicate that they are about to report speech. We use it to report speech badly, though. It's not an exactly a synonym for the word say. It's close, but not exactly. Now, it turns out, right, that behind the, the main house was the cottage we were renting, and behind that was a barn. It was an enormous barn. It was larger than really you need on a suburban plot with no animals. Like, it was a large barn, and I'm like, that's weird. When we use to be like, we paraphrase or we imagine what someone else had said in a previous conversation. For example, if I say to my friend, he said, I loved the movie. That means I am reporting his words directly. But if I say to my friend, he was like, I loved the movie. This means those were not his words, but I am reporting the sense of what he said. I am telling my friend a feeling of his words, but it's not accurate. We like to do this in conversation. We like to retell conversations or retell stories, but we summarize and paraphrase, and sometimes we add a little imagination in there for humor. I was like, and then I remember seeing like some like Spice Girls, and I was like, oh my god, they're reenacting the movie. Yeah, because <laughs> I thought it was like I thought it was like a fictional movie about some girls. Right. Called the Spice Girls. Right. It wasn't. No. Some people may say that this is a feature of language that is either dumb or only used by teenage girls. And that is completely false. To be like is a feature that is completely entrenched in colloquial and spoken English all around the world in many native dialects. You see, language evolves. And part of the evolution of language is the fact that young people make up new phrases and new words. But when they grow up, they take those phrases and words with them. So, while to be like may have started out as a youthful language phenomenon, it has definitely stuck around, and it looks like it'll be with us for a while. Take a look at this clip from the Canadian comedian Russell Peters. He is telling a story about being at a casino in South Africa and attempting to pronounce a complicated foreign name. I was at this casino in South Africa. I was playing blackjack. And I look at my dealer, and I think they put this guy there just to confuse you when you're gambling. I swear to God, it was an African dude. I look at his name tag. The guy's name was spelt exclamation mark, X-O-B-I-L-E. And I'm like, how the hell do you say that? So I thought I'd take a shot, right? I'm like, yeah, could I get another card there? Uh... So, but, uh... See, because I thought you had to start big, you know? Because the exclamation was at the beginning of the name, right? Like, if it was a question mark, I'd be like, Dobile? <laughs> but it was an exclamation, so I'm like, Dobile! As you see, he used the phrase to be like in the past tense to relate a conversation he had with the blackjack dealer in a very humorous fashion. But this phrase is not limited to stand-up. We use it in normal conversation. In this next clip, the comedian Jim Gaffigan is talking to Stephen Colbert about something that happened to his wife after she had a brain tumor, particularly a conversation that we, he had with her about writing. And of course, she gets done, you know, surviving a brain tumor, and she decides to write a book about it. And uh, at one point, I was like, do you want me to help? And she was like, no, not really. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like my writing partner essentially fired me. This feature is so common in everyday colloquial spoken English that 
It even has its own segment on late night television. <laughs> the comedian Amber Ruffin does a segment called Amber Says What? in which she quickly reacts to pieces in the news using this phrase, to be like. Particularly the version, to be like, what? Which is a very common way of expressing shock or emotional reaction to something. Take a look. Then I heard that New York had some flooding and I was like, what? It can't be that bad. Then I turned on the news and I saw this. Like, what? You might as well hop on a surfboard and beat the train. The OED says that this phrase, to be like, is American in origin, but it is by no means limited to North American speakers. In the movie Thor Ragnarok, the Australian actor Chris Hemsworth uses this phrase when relating a story about something his younger brother Loki did to him when they were eight. There was one time when we were children, he, he transformed himself into a snake and he knows that I love snakes. So I went to pick up the snake to admire it and he transformed back into himself and he was like, yeah, it's me. And he stabbed me. We were eight at the time. And here, in an interview on British television, the actor John Boyega relates a story about taking his family to Kensington Palace. You'll note here that he uses this phrase as an opportunity to do an impression of his father's accent. <laughs> and so did, did you bring everyone to Kensington Palace? Or was that a... Was that yeah, a... yeah, no, everyone, everyone came down to the palace. Woohoo! Yeah, but as, as soon as 30 minutes in, my, my dad was like, where is the proper food? <laughs> <laughs> so we had, to, we had to leave real quick. The phrase to be like is often used to convey the speaker's response to something. The speaker will say something that happened in neutral speech and then switch to using the phrase to be like to include their response to something. This will sometimes cause several uses of the phrase in one conversation to relate a part of the story that happened in reaction to something they just said. Take a look at this clip from the South African comedian Trevor Noah, who is telling a story about crossing a street in a different country. And I'm looking at the truck, and as soon as the light changes, the guy next to me, he just steps out into the road. And so instinctively, I stuck my hand out to protect him. I was like, yo, dude, there's a truck. And he was like, it's okay, we've got the light. I said, yeah, and he has a truck. In a game of rock, paper, scissors, you lose. But he was so confident. He was like, it's okay, we got the light. Come on, let's go. And he walked out there. He didn't just walk out. He stared that truck driver down as he was crossing, just looking at him like, I've got the light. I've got the light. You know I've got the light. When we react to something or provide a response to it, we don't always do this in the simple tenses, in the past, the present, or the future. The phrase to be like can be used with modal verbs. You often hear it used with the word could, he could be like, or he would be like. In the contracted form, this is he'd be like, or we'd be like. This is used to present a hypothetical reaction to something a speaker has either done, described, or said. Take a look at this clip. The actor Adam Scott is describing how, when he was two years old, he invited the actor Mark Hamill, who played Luke Skywalker in Star Wars, to his second birthday. Did you think he was really gonna come? I did, I did. Oh, so I, I thought at least if he got it and he was able to, if his schedule was clear, right, of he course. was probably gonna come. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> if he um, wasn't doing anything else that day, he'd no. be like, you know what? I'm gonna hit this birthday party up. <laughs> I'm gonna hit this two-year-old's birthday party up. Let me... Sometimes in conversation, these emotional reactions come one after another after another. You will sometimes hear, I was like, and he was like, and they were like, and they would be like, right in a row. Because people often relay whole conversations in this manner. Then I 
saw this big yeah, cockatoo yeah, with big ninja talent. This cockatoo was ugly, yeah, yeah, but anyways, yeah. it's not the point. And then Jewel was there, and he snatched Jewel up, like, like snatched him up. And then he was like, you coming with me, you little princess? And Jewel was like, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. I ain't your princess, leave me alone. And I was like, what? It, so yeah, the phrase to be like is a really common part of everyday spoken English. We use it to signal that we are imagining or paraphrasing a legitimate conversation. The sense of the conversation is correct, but the words are not accurate. If you are learning English, you don't need to use this in your speech. It is important to know about it though, because it is very common in any kind of conversation. You'll see it on television, in movies, especially in conversation on TV, uh, or between multiple people. And it can be confusing because it either sounds like garbled nonsense or it can be confused for a different phrase, to be like something, which means a comparison. So, to be like, a synonym of say, really common in everyday English. Check out these further examples of it in real use. The DJ actually asked me, hey, do you want me to turn the music off while you're performing? <laughs> I was like, yeah! <laughs> and he was bummed. He was like, oh, what am I supposed to do? It was, uh, yeah, it's, it sometimes happens that way. Um, what they did not warn me about is the C-section, which is way worse. So there's a sheet, and then they go, the baby's here! And then you peek around the sheet, and they're lifting out the baby, but then you notice your wife is completely disassembled. <laughs> I can see inside of her. I, I was like, it's, it's a girl. There's your livers out, I think. And then those are definitely intestines. And she has uh, your eyes. And, oh, my God. What? And he was like, what? And I'm like, what? Like, I'm trying to see if I can find that number that girl gave me. And I was like, what girl? Like, what's he talking about? And he was like, you know, the girl. And I was like, we're in character. Oh, my God. I was like, Yes. He gets in character before it even starts. Let me tell you something. I was like, I need to do better on my job. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know who that reminds me of? 